Hi guys, I'm here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my experiences with the Continental GP5000 and GP5000 tubeless tires. Now, a brief history lesson about my relationship with Continental tires. When I started cycling uh, seriously a bit more than three years ago, uh, the GP4000 was a very popular clincher tire but it was already kind of outdated and I thought there were better options so first I didn't really have a trade relation with any continental distributor over here so I didn't really try them and I just thought there were some better options now the 5000 version uh, came up and it was very hotly anticipated and welcomed uh, this one is much more up my street particularly after watching the BicycleRunningResistance.com uh, tests and reviews on, well, actually the performance and how they roll on the road. So until then I wasn't really excited because there are many, many good tires on the market uh, and I wasn't really excited, uh, to be honest, about the regular clincher GP5000. But then I saw the data on... Uh, the GP5000 tubeless and in fact it's uh, existence because there are not really many high-performance uh, road tires that are tubeless out there just yet so yeah it was an exciting product because uh, it's a super fast rolling tire it's uh, just fractionally slower than the full-on time trial specific uh, Victoria Corsa Speed TLR so that's great if you consider that this is a general use tire for road racing it's much tougher much more wear resistant much more puncture resistant and much grippier uh, in all kinds of conditions so yeah it's a very very appealing prospect and price wise it's also uh, nothing outrageous so i decided to give them a go and i have also found a good distributor a good source uh, from my store uh, to get the, the content of the tires uh, to my customers and also to myself uh, obviously because I like to try everything that I offer so my initial impressions mm. the tires perform exactly like you would perform uh, sorry expect from a high performance road race tire they're nice and comfortable uh, so yeah, ride quality is excellent, grip is excellent, we know from uh, the test that the rolling resistance is, is class leading. Uh, so yeah, it is the obvious choice uh, pretty much now for tubeless tires. If I compare it to the tire that I've been using previously, the, uh, the Schwalbe Pro 1 tubeless, uh, there are some key differences. Weight wise, it's almost exactly the same. I weighed the 25s and the 28s that I have here, compare them to the Schwalbe's within 10 grams each. So no real difference there. Uh, what is difference, different is that the continentals appear quite a bit chunkier in the, in the thread and also uh, the bead appears to be a lot more robust. And the big difference also is in the sizing. So these are the MV4.5 AR disc wheels, which are super wide with 25 mil internal uh, width. So they really do balloon out uh, most tires. And this 28 mil uh, Conti measures up at 30 millimeters, which is small. Uh, you might say I'm crazy for saying that, but if you consider that the same 28 mil Schwalbe's come up to almost 32 mil on these tires uh, you really uh, get more into context same happened when I put these uh, or sorry the 25 mils on other MV wheels and other wheels in general and the 25s on a 90 mil internal uh, with rim are 25s exactly Schwalbe always come up larger uh, for those looking for the ultimate cushioning uh, that's probably not the best, but for me, uh, or anyone who cares about the aerodynamics of their rims and wheels, it's a good sign because 
well the tires are as wide as they should be and as you can see uh, the aero interface here it's, it's just a perfect match and it was the same case with other MV wheels that were designed for 25 mils because those tires were exactly 25 and it was I would say it must be excellent for aerodynamics and also the rolling resistance is great so all around, all around good stuff and the tires also seal up uh, very nicely uh, so you might say that it's all perfect the best tire ever uh, yeah then the problem comes because you get these tires and then comes the time where you actually want to fit them uh, to your wheels and this is the problematic part now Continental were quite uh, skeptical I would say and uh, careful with going tubeless on the road and they've overdone it a bit because the uh, tires, the tubeless ones are just extremely extremely tight on all of the rims that I've tried to put them on and uh, those include the NV 5.6s, the MV 7.8s, uh, different Bond Traegers, LS 5s for example, uh, then also Zips, uh, 404s, 303s, extremely extremely tight and then on my own wheels the 4.5 ARs just almost impossible to get on uh, and it caused me big big problems because well firstly I ruined my stickers on my wheels uh, because of the use of tire levers but that's not a big problem uh, the big problem is that uh, on other wheels unless you have two high quality shop grade tire levers and a lot of skill and patience you're not got, uh, getting them on at all and on these uh, it's just it's just ridiculous how hard it is to put them on it's not impossible at first I thought it is but then I learned how to do it you need a bit of acrobatic skill uh, you can do it alone actually I've also managed to do it alone with four tie levers and some yeah just yeah really really not easy you have to do it one, uh, bit by bit really super extremely tight it's like fitting a motorbike tire really except that it's much easier to damage things uh, because the first time I put these on I damaged the rim strip on my rim so then it didn't seal so I had to get them off again put some new uh, rim strip on uh, and do it all over again so that's uh, that's not ideal I've yet to try these tires on on other wheels where the fit might be more acceptable mm. another thing I'd like to point out is that uh, currently on the MV website it says that the 4.5 ARs are incompatible uh, with the GP 5000s that's because Continental doesn't recommend uh, mounting them on hookless bead rims which these are uh, the thing is that I'm registered to MV's user database owner database and there we get a uh, regular updates on this and they say that these stars are under probation probably because they can't fit them uh, but I've managed to fit them and they work perfectly they seal perfectly they're so tight that they're never going to come off incidentally I can guarantee that and yeah as I said the rest of the performance of the tires is, is spotless almost so uh, highly recommended unless uh, you're afraid to do a bit of hard work and fiddling to actually fit them from previous experience of other people with the 4000s uh, and the 5000 clinchers the puncture resistance should be extremely good so if you fit them once uh, it shouldn't be a problem afterwards okay so these are my initial thoughts uh, in the next video I'm planning to compare all the tubeless road tires and the pr their respective problems uh, that I've come across so if you'd like to know more about that then stay tuned uh, it's all for the day thanks for watching and see you next time